So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I do to store my car away for the winter time. Some of the stuff may be unnecessary, some of it may be necessary. Not sure, but these are my tips. This particularly is a Chevy Camaro 2SS, but this pretty much applies to any car. So the first thing I do is give the car one good final wash. Uh, don't wax it, just wash it, just to get the contaminants, the dirt, or the salt off the car if I had it out too late. The car is gonna sit probably for about three to four months, something like that, so you don't want that old dirt or salt, like I said, if you had it out too late, uh, lingering on the car for that long, it's gonna damage the paint. The second thing I do is clean the inside of the car. I don't go into a real in-depth detail because the car is pretty much kept clean anyway, but just do a nice little wipe down, nice little vacuum, and that's good enough. The third thing I do is put it on a battery tender because like I said, the car is gonna sit for three to four months, so I don't want the battery to die. This pretty much maintains it. I mean, I guess, I suppose you could just come out and start the car up every three weeks or something like that, um, but I'd rather just set it and forget it. So uh, I use this battery tender right here by C-Tech. Uh, works just fine. Plug it in, set the type of battery you have, and just let it sit, and the car fires right up. And if you're looking for this particular type of charger, I'll put an Amazon link below so you can check it out. I bought it like refurbished or something like that, or an open box. It was like $30 off the regular price. So uh, just look out for that if you click on that link. The way I have it ran is through the grill. I'll show you that right here. On this particular car, the battery's in the trunk. I suppose you can just put the uh, two uh, connectors on that battery, but this right here, this way was easier for me. The other thing I do is overinflate the tires by about 10 PSI from what I normally drive at. This is just to avoid flat spots and I also park them on these little mats right here. Um, this isn't necessarily necessary. <laughs> this isn't necessarily necessary. Um, you could just drive the car after a few months, a couple of miles, and usually the flat spots will work themselves out. But this is just what I do. The next thing is to buy these silica gel packs. Again, this may be overkill, may not be necessary, but it's to help keep moisture out of the car. The packs I ordered were actually supposed to be a lot bigger, um, but these are what they sent me. So I just threw a bunch of them in the interior and I threw some in the trunk as well. Again, this may be overkill, may not be necessary, but it's like a $10 investment and supposedly uh, it does help keep the car dry and help prevent you know, mildew or certain smells from forming from moisture uh, just from the, from the car sitting for a while, which in my case is only four months, but supposedly it helps. The next thing is a box of baking soda, uh, costs one buck, helps keeps the interior of the car smelling fresh. That's its only purpose. And the last thing I do is fill the tank up with a full tank of gas. Supposedly, uh, if you store your car away with just a quarter tank of gas, there's some like a lot of room for air and moisture to develop, that, which could cause some problems. Um, I've never had a problem doing that, but supposedly it could. So I fill the tank up with a full tank of gas. I use this particular brand right here. A uh, fuel stabilizer I added to it and that's really it. Also, one last thing you could do, I don't do. I have a car cover. I don't use it particularly because I have a, uh, a rag top and I kind of have a fear of a mouse coming into the garage and like kind of making a nest under the car cover and chewing through the, through the uh, rag top. We don't have a mouse infestation or anything like that, but every now and then a mouse or two will get into the garage. And so to avoid something like that happening, I don't use the car cover. Plus, I like to just look at the car when I come in the garage and park my other car, so that's why I don't use it. But I do have one. If I had a hard top, I probably would use it, maybe, or maybe not, I'm, I'm not even sure. And that is it, that is what I do to store my car away for the winter time. Like I said, you can pretty much apply this to any car, and a lot of it's probably unnecessary, some of it's probably necessary um, to each his own, but you know, come early spring, the car starts right up and rolls right out. So. If there's anything I'm missing, uh, if you guys got any extra tips you think I should know about, um, some things I should be doing, things that I'm, I probably don't need to do, put those below in the comments. Like, subscribe, take care, and thanks for watching.